Billy Connell looked sprightly enough off pole position, but uh, the 33-year-old Australian wasn't able to hold it there. It was uh, Chrissy Rouse tried to go swoop round the outside of everybody into Redgate. That's a kind of uh, Rory Skinner move. But, uh, and he almost made it stick. He ended up there in second place as they swept down through Craner Curves. Perhaps the uh, Geordie maths teacher knew that he was going to come under pressure because he quickly did from number 68, Tom Neve, and Danny Kent on the Morello Racing Kawasaki. Tom Neve there having a moment coming out of the hairpin. That sat him up, but he uh, carves his way back into second place. And a, a moment there as Chrissy Rouse rattles the curb. William McConnell makes a mistake, runs wide at the Melbourne hairpin on the Melbourne loop. And then over the crest of the rise down to Goddard's, it's Tom Neve from Danny Kent and Chrissy Rouse. Kent beginning to show the sort of form we might expect for him as he really gets used to the, uh, the punch and power of the 1000cc superbikes. Chrissy Rouse now having his hands full as he runs really wide down the Melbourne loop, has to pull it back. And now he's in trouble because he's been pushed back to fourth place. And here comes McConnell, but he barges back past McConnell and recaptures that fourth place. Across the line, just by less than a tenth of a second, Tom Neve takes it from Danny Kent. Third place for Tim Neve. Uh, Chrissy Rouse then, his championship lead cut in half by this man, Tom Neve, who suddenly got all to play for at Brands Hatch. <laughs>